There's always a standout baller who goes crazy at the World Cup to kickstart their career. We've seen it with Thomas Muller, James Rodriguez, Mesut Ozil. So who will it be this year? We think we found our pick. Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo has already scored at this year's World Cup, so join us today to find out everything you need to know about the Dutch talisman. Stick around until the end to find out why we think he'll be playing in the Premier League after the January window. So, who is Cody Gakpo? Cody Gakpo is a 23-year-old Dutch winger who currently plays for PSV. He was born to a Dutch mother and a Togolese father, which made the forward formally eligible for the Togo national team. In fact, his father even played professionally for the Togo side. His mother is also interesting. She is a retired rugby player who's represented the Netherlands on an international level. How cool would it be for both your parents to have played professional sport? But let's get back to Cody. Cody was born in Stratum, a village within Eindhoven. It meant that everything about Hakpo's childhood was PSV related. Some of his youngest memories were sitting at the famous ZZ Row at the Philips Stadium. He would also always use PSV on FIFA whenever he would play against his friends. Hakpo even had PSV bedsheets in his room, which he shared with his two brothers who were also professional footballers. His older brother Sydney's 29 and plays for RPC Eindhoven. His younger brother Duke Ferrer sits in the youth academy of PSV on an internship. Cody joined the PSV Academy in 2007. He quickly flew up the ranks and through the youth teams, featuring for the under-19s at the age of 17. Gakpo made his professional debut in the Eerste Divisie for young PSV in November 2016. He was 18 at the time, but the winger began to make a name for himself in the 2017-18 season. He picked up seven goals and five assists in 13 games for the under-19s team, which saw him be promoted to the reserves team that year. Kakpo then made his first team debut in February 2018 as an injury time substitute. The Dutchman only managed to bench warm for the next couple of seasons with Steven Bergwijn keeping him out of the team, but eventually he got his chance. The 2019-20 season was a major breakthrough for the youngsters. He registered seven goals and seven assists in 25 Eredivisie games. He also scored his first European goals that season. The forward has been flying high ever since, scoring the winner in the KNFA Bay Cup final last season along with his first hat-trick in August 2022. Last season was his best though, with 12 goals and 13 assists in 27 games. And so far this season, he's set the Dutch top flight ablaze. Nine goals and 12 assists in just 14 matches. Can you even name another player with stats like that? That's fine form indeed, which made Netherlands manager Louis van Gaal take notice and call him up to his World Cup squad. Kakpo has represented the Netherlands at every age level. He played youth international football at under-18s, under-19s, under-20s and under-21s, but he made his senior debut in a major fashion. Kakpo was called up to the Netherlands squad for Euro 2020 as a shock last-minute addition. He only made one appearance in the third match of the group stage, but it was still a big achievement for the young winger. PSV's star boy was the first Dutch player to make his debut at a European Championship since 1980. Not bad for a 22-year-old, right? He's since made a total of nine appearances before the World Cup and scored three goals. Kakpo isn't quite a starter for Louis van Gaal yet. He started as a 10 against Senegal in the Netherlands opening game in Qatar. The potential is there, and his national gaffer clearly sees the potential. So how exactly does Hagpo make an impact? His style of play is energetic to say the least. He's usually deployed on the left wing, but he can also play as a central attacking midfielder too, and that's where he plays for the Dutch national team. When playing out wide, Hagpo loves to cut inside on his right foot. He then naturally adopts a more central attacking position. This gives him enough space to use his speed and agility to dribble past defenders and make space in the middle of the pitch. From here, it's easy for him to release a shot on goal from range. Since the beginning of the 21-22 season, no other player in the Eredivisie has generated more total shots. He's a nightmare for defenders, especially when he goes one-on-one -on -one with them out wide. Kakbo then loves to swing the ball in with a cross. He's a really selfless team player. Kakbo has set up more than he's scored this season, and his ability to put a cross on a sixpence is the main reason why. Strikers would love him in their team, we're sure of it, but he's lethal in front of goal too. So what are Hakpo's big strengths? He is ridiculously quick. His top speed hit 33.6 kilometers per hour in the Euros. That made him the fourth fastest player in the entire tournament. But his touch is scarily good too. It makes him a constant threat. 
Defenders can launch the ball up the pitch towards him and he can take it down and move forward in the blink of an eye. Pair that with his strong off-ball pitch IQ too. Gakpo roams the half spaces and demands the ball. And with his almost perfect first touch, he can receive the ball in these wide areas, control it and dash down the pitch with explosive pace. But what are his weaknesses? While the forward is very efficient in attack, he's not so impactful in defence. Gakpo's tackling is quite poor. He averages just 0.77 tackles per 90, which just isn't anywhere near enough. In fact, he's only made 13 tackles in the era Eredivisie this season, which puts him in the bottom 15% of all top-flight Dutch players. It means when he tries something creative and loses the ball in transition, he often fails to win it back. This can sometimes make PSV open to quick-fire counter-attacks. His man-marking also leaves a lot to be desired. He's not great when it comes to defending set-pieces, which can make him struggle in the air. Kakpo has won only 45% of his aerial duels this season. The forward's overall defensive work rate is just not good enough in general. He might be a team player up the other end of the pitch, but he doesn't really help his defenders out much when it comes to stopping goals. We think his insane goal and assist numbers allow him to just about get away with it though. So where will Kakpo go after the World Cup? There was already a lot of transfer interest in the summer for Cody Kakpo. Several Premier League clubs were said to be making a move for the wonder kid. Leeds United put in a bid early on, and Southampton actually came the closest. They had agreed a fee with PSV on deadline day. But Gakpo couldn't sort out personal agreements and opted to stay at PSV in the end. The Saints will have already been priced out of the move now. Gakpo's electric start to the season took his value to 50 before the World Cup even started, and is likely to cost more towards 70 million once the event is finished. Leeds can't chalk up that sort of money. In fact, most Premier League teams can't. That's why it's obvious to us where he'll end up. We think Hakpo will be a Manchester United player by next season at the latest. The PSV talisman has already admitted that he spoke to Eric Ten Hag in the summer. He said that he was close to leaving, but that the deal broke down in the end. Hakpo said it was a shame for me and my development, and because Manchester United is one of the biggest clubs in the world. It's pretty much a guarantee that the Red Devils will come knocking again in the summer. Kakpo is a speedy, skillful winger with a shooting boot to match his on-ball flair. He's everything Ten Hag looks for in his wide players. Expect to see him playing for the red half of Manchester soon and expect him to take the Premier League by storm.